Well, this was this was from class. I discussed this in class on Tuesday, the twenty fifth. So I'm going to just repeat it briefly here. If you were in class, you might find it helpful, or if you weren't, you can can look at it. But the idea uh, with power series, I'm trying to give you the big picture, and this is part one. And this concerns stuff that's 9.8, but stuff that comes up elsewhere as well. Given a function, uh, f of x, be able to do the following. So we're given a function as a power series. So in other words, this thing is given in this weird fashion. You wouldn't be able to do the following, is integrate the power series. In other words, to integrate f of x, you have to integrate the power series, and this is going to be equal to this. Okay. So in other words, basically, if you want to see why, you see today's video. I said I wouldn't give any new videos if I was in class, but I guess I figured it might be helpful to explain why this happens in a video. Okay, that's the first thing you need to be able to do. Okay, and then this is fairly easy to integrate. That's just equal to the summation doesn't change. The AK doesn't change, but you add one to the exponent and you divide by the new exponent. And then you're gonna have a constant of integration that's outside the series. And we'll see that this is really the constant term of the series. So, okay. So the other thing you might need to do is this. You might need to have to find a derivative of f of x. And to do that, you're going to take the derivative of the power series. And here, let me separate this so it's out of the way. And to do that, again, we're going to switch the order of integration. Okay. Might as well go and do that. And if you do that, well, that's going to be equal to, you bring the k down, you still have the a k there, and you drop the exponent by one. And notice what's gonna happen here is that the k equals zero, this, when k is equal to zero, if we take the d dx of a to the 0, x to the 0, that's just going to be 0. So there's not going to be a k equals 0 term in here, so really we're going to start our series at 1. Okay. And you might have to take a limit. And your limit could be if x goes to some number x naught. We don't know what that number is. So you want to take the limit of f of x while you take the limit of the series. Remember, all we know about f of x is this. That's the only formula we have, which is why we have to do all these things. So take the limit of f of x, we have to take the limit of the power series. And the, order you, the way that you do that is you just take the limit of each term. And we haven't done that in class yet, but we'll do this, uh, we'll do this next week. But this was from, we did this on Tuesday, 11.25, and then Thursday, 11.20. Okay. Okay, that's big picture part one. That's what you need to know. Oh, there's one more thing. Sorry. So the last thing you need to know how to do is you need to find the interval of convergence. And I did this in some videos on Thursday, 11.20. And we'll probably do some more of these depending on how much time we have in class. Okay, that's it.